Hi, it's Tom from Sailing Seahorse. This is a quick video just to show progress on my new instrumentation panel. So I've got some of the bits installed. I haven't got the Raspberry Pi. I'm still waiting for the, the waterproof uh, connectors for, v, for HDMI, USB and stuff to, to put. I've got the waterproof box, but I've got to get the little uh, connectors with the pigtails that plug into the Pi so it's completely waterproof. So that should be arriving in the next few weeks. Um, so this is my instrumentation display piece. So <clears throat> got a couple of pieces to show here. Uh, actually, you can see a 15 inch monitor, um, which is actually made from a laptop screen converted by a Chinese company. So they've taken a laptop screen, low power, a 2K screen and stuck it into an aluminium box and they put two USB-C connectors, HDMI connector, and some instrumentation for, um, so you can you can have video in the Type-C1, Type-C2, or HDMI, so you can connect to three computers. Um, and this is running DeX. So DeX is not widely used, but it's one of Samsung's better pieces of tech. It's a desktop Android. So the power for this comes out through my um, USB-C PowerPoint uh, connects to my batteries, goes into the monitor, powers the monitor, then it goes back out through the USB-C monitor cable into the Samsung S20. That's a five-year-old second-hand Samsung phone, which is just sitting around. So I'm using that to power all of this. So that is running standard Android. And here I'm running the um, Navali app. So I can look looking for... Uh, Anchorages, my lo locality. So here's a nice one. I can then see uh, Kyle of Butte. I can get information on the tides, the which wind directions this is. It's currently got 10 centimeter swell, 4.5 knots. So it looks like a great sand, reachable by dinghy. There's snacks available, water on the shore, and um, marinas close by. Yeah, and some reviews by people. So that looks excellent. So I will definitely be stopping there on one of my outings. It's about 20 miles away sailing. 20, so it looks like a great place to stop and lock root rule. So I can mouse between the two, um, the Android screen and the laptop screen. And on the laptop screen, I've pretty much got, it's like Android pretends to be Windows or Linux. So you can, you can resize the windows. You can move them around, you can minimize them and generally mess with the windows. So that's that's the standard Android clock. And then I've got some sort of typical volume, Wi-Fi, um, messaging, battery stuff. And then I can let's close the clock. And I've got some apps running, so I'm running OpenCPN. So I've, you can dock windows. So if you take them to the side, it will then resize them to match. And then let's say, OK, let's show Windy here. So there's Windy. So this is my boat in James Watt Marina um, in the old Sugar Harbour. And today is a pretty ghastly day, windy, rainy, kind of cold. Uh, so I'm messing with my tech. So this is windy. It, now, this is not web browser windy. This is the Android app windy. This is the Android app for OpenCPN. Um, the, and it's basically full featured. So here I can look at different you know, in the future. Where's the um, where's the weather pattern moving? OK, the UK is staying fairly calm, but the, uh, the North Atlantic is a little bit unsettled. Oh, it comes up through the Irish Sea uh, on Wednesday early morning. The front comes over Ireland. Okay, so I can also look at, say, uh, let's try radar and let's, there we go. So I can zoom into where I am. I am up here. There is Aaron, 
and that little blue dot is me. So you can see a rain just went over, and then there's more rain. Shari day going in this direction. Go back to wind. Yeah, go back to wind display. Windy is amazing. You get so much data out of it there. And um, OpenCPN is the full version version of OpenCPN running on Android. So it has a whole lot of plugins. So I can go into plugins. So it'll do like weather routing. It'll do uh, a ton of stuff that most thousands of pounds chartbotters can't do. Um, so I've got a few plugins installed. I can look at other plugins. So a ton of plugins. Climatology, dashboard tactics, yeah, Earth Explorer, currents, logbook, right, yeah, O charts, a ton of ton of plugins. Cancel that. So it's very configurable. And um I can say I'm um, Finish with Windy, I can let's go and have a look at my instrument panel. So here is coming from a Raspberry Pi. This is actually simulated, it's not live data, I'm not out at sea, but um connecting to Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's actually the demo server running on signal K on the internet. Um so here you can see the typical instruments you get. If if I was out at sea, that would be coming from my internal Raspberry Pi, which will be behind this in the my new cabinet I've installed and um, that gives me access to some standard boat instruments I can also display them as an overlay on OpenCPN so um, yeah so I've been very impressed with this it's like you know the the, the monitor cost me I think 45 pounds about sixty dollars uh, fifty five dollars maybe um, and it has a slight floor it's got a little yellow line going down here which you can't see i think that's why it was cheap um i'm and it's not touchscreen i think i should have bought a touchscreen i wasn't paying attention when i was ordering it from aliexpress so a touchscreen would be much better um so i'm using a an air mouse to move this around and then yeah, i've got all the standard sort of android apps um, including yeah a ton of stuff and I can use this and this is actually running off my battery. I've been measuring the current on this. It uses less than an amp. It uses about 0.8 of an amp, which is about 10 watts at 12 volts. So very low power um, and should be able to you know, run continuously on my batteries and topped up with a little bit of solar. Um, I'm doing a, a program on, on my new solar system and lithium system um, the next month. And it will, uh, I think I've got a very high performance, very flexible. Um, I can run Navionics on here. I can run Orca. I can run sort of modern commercial chart potters as well as open source ones. I can run Google. I can watch Netflix on here. You know, it's pretty much a full com desktop computer running off a fairly old Android phone. And because you know, this, this Android phone at the time was a sort of fairly high end phone, um, it's got you know powerful GPU, so everything is very slick. I could like scroll really quickly through OpenCPN. There's no lag or glitching at all. Um, and uh, yeah, update Windy. So let's have a look what I got here. So I close. And you can switch applications between the large. Um, monitor and the, the the screen on the um, computer on the the phone so um, I can run all standard apps on here so that's my image viewer you get a photograph of a hike I can switch back to let's go back to Navily. So um yeah, I'm very happy with this. So 
what I'm going to be doing is connecting up the three inputs. So one input, this will be the primary thing that will run it, low power, you know, running the phone as the CPU and running up the, the Android apps and the web apps as the UI. And that the I'm going to connect the other, um, I'm going to have a backup phone. So I can just pull this phone out, stick a backup phone in case this phone goes faulty. Um, these are sort of, IP something waterproof phones, so they're fairly high end. They're fairly good phones. They you know, probably you can buy one for probably less than hundred dollars now because they're five years old. Um, and then I'm going to use the HDMI connection on here to go into the Raspberry Pi, so I can bring out the Raspberry Pi on this monitor as well if I want to do some server stuff. So this the Raspberry Pi is going to be running server applications um, and. I'm then going to use all the UI. I'm going to do my video editing on this. So I'm using, a, I've got a few different video editing softwares to, uh, to to run on here. So I can, and because it's got a, a good GPU, it, it encodes the video fairly quickly and very high quality. So, you know, it's, it's like I can run Word um, or Excel. I can run Google Office, G Suite, I can do emails. Actually, I can even make phone calls. No, it's a phone. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I can uh, pretty much do most things that you would do on a computer, but you know, it also makes a very, very good chart plotter. Um, it was a, li you know, a little bit of a learning curve. Um, I didn't really know the features of Dex, so it was a very pleasant surprise that it worked so well. Um, uh, and you know, all I've done configuration-wise is told Dex to start automatically as soon as it d detects the monitor plugged in. And... Um, Keep the screen on, keep the the phone on, and uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. Um, I'll give you an update how it, how it goes, and I'm going to have a Android tablet, waterproof Android tablet at the helm outside, um, on deck. So, and this will be my internal navigation. It'll stay on the wall. It's in a fairly sheltered location. Uh, that's it really. So uh yeah, ask any questions in the comment. You know, I highly recommend this. You know, I've got much more of a a chart plotter and a entertainment system and a sort of research and weather stuff that I ever thought I would get out of a like sixty dollar old phone and a forty dollar hacked uh laptop monitor that hardly uses any power, um got tons of storage. It's it's pretty I'm pretty impressed with this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do ask questions. So thank you for watching. And uh I will see you on my next tech video.